Alléluia. Alléluia. Oh, combien apprécie Jésus Christ ce matin. Amen. 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 Oh, continuons de l'alter le Let's keep him, keep on worshiping. Across the bridge, there is no more sorrow. Across the bridge, no more pain. The sun will shine across the river, and we'll never be unhappy again. Across the bridge, no more sorrow. Across the bridge, no more pain. The sun will shine across the river. And we'll never be unhappy again. Oh, if the same, same spirits that rose Christ from the dead dwells in you. Let's all appreciate Frau Lou. Appreciate Frau Lou. That rose Christ from the dead dwells in you. Soit le nom du Seigneur. Donne au Seigneur une main d'acclamation. Amen. God, Amen. Que bless you. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse richement. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord. Il est bon d'être dans la maison du Seigneur à nouveau ce matin. And what tremendous times we have been having. Quel temps nous avons eu. The glories of God. La gloire de Dieu. The preaching of the pure word. La prédication de la pure parole de Dieu. Malachi was the real true. Du véritable authentic message de Malachi 4, l'évangile de la vérité révélée. From the back of the Bible. Du dos de la Bible. The seven thunder voices. Ces voix de sept tonnerres. Opening up. Qui souffre. The truths of God. Qui ouvre les vérités de Dieu. In the book of redemption. Dans le livre de la rédemption. Opening up. Qui ouvre. The seven seals. Ces sept sceaux. What a blessing to be here. Quelle bénédiction c'est d'être ici. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to Dieu. Amen. I want to thank you again Et je veux à nouveau vous dire for merci. having us. De nous avoir I want to thank Brother Paul, je veux merci, Frère Paul. Jekka again, Mon Jekka à his wife and family and church, sa famille, son for the invitation to be here ici. on behalf of the uh, group from Nigeria, en faveur de la part the de delegation from Nigeria, de Nigeria de la from our de church Nigeria, in Lagos, de notre église à and Lagos. us, and also on behalf of Pastor Elijah Kiemi. 
from the revealed word tabernacle for Tagot. We want to thank you for receiving us. Thank you, Pastor Paul, your wife and family and the great church in Abidjan. Thank you for your love, love and kindness and respect. I also want to thank again the cooperating and visiting ministers who are here with the churches. Thank you for helping to make the meetings. Amen. I want to say thank you especially to Brother Theo Ovid and also Brother Johnny Conte. How was Brother Johnny last night? Amen. 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 Brother Connie has such a unique way. Frère Johnny, a une manière si unique. A way that's unique to him alone. Une manière qui est propre à lui seul. Of bringing the word of God. D'apporter la parole de Dieu. Of calling down the spirit of God. Et de faire descendre l'esprit de Dieu. And Brother Branham said. Et Frère Branham a dit. The preaching of the pure word. Il dit la prédication de la pure parole de Dieu. Is not emotions. Ce n'est pas les émotions. Is not excitement. Ce n'est pas l'excitement. Is not because you wish it. Ce n'est pas parce que vous le souhaitez. But he said the preaching of the pure word. Il dit la prédication de la pure parole de Dieu. Will always bring down the Holy Spirit. Spirit. How we appreciate Brother Conte last Comme night. Nous on fait Conte la nuit and how we thank God. Amen. 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 And what can we say about Brother Etienne here? Amen. 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 Brother Etienne tremendous. Brother Etienne Temenius. Brother Etienne is merveilleux. And Brother Etienne doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to say it. He ne veut pas du tout être vu. When you tell Brother Etienne, thank you. Et lorsque vous lui dites, Frère Etienne, merci. He just says we are trying. Il dit simplement nous essayons. And you know that's trying. Et est-ce là ici? He preached every single service. Il a prêché chacune des réunions. God bless Brother Etienne. Dieu te bénisse. Thank you. Merci. We love and appreciate you so much. Nous t'apprécions. Amen. And for the engineers, the sound men, the musicians, everybody. We want to say thank you. The deacons, the ushers, want to say thank you. God, we really pleasure. Thank you all for having us. Amen. Amen. I know I promised last year. Je sais que j'ai promis la nuit dernière. Un frère m'a rencontré la nuit dernière. And said, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were going to speak French this year. Well, you said you were so they've got to go to French school too. Donc ils doivent aussi aller apprendre le français. Thank you so much for your love. Merci pour votre amour. If you have a Bible, donc si vous avez votre Bible, I'd like to invite your attention to. Je voudrais inviter votre attention. Two portions of Scripture. À deux portions des Écritures. First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Un Thessalonicien, le quatrième chapitre. Revelation eight. Et Apocalypse 8. First Thessalonians 4, I read from verse 14. Je lirai à partir du verset 14 de 1 Thessaloniciens 4. Maybe let me pick from verse 13. Peut-être qu'on peut aller jusqu'à avancer jusqu'au verset 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Nous ne voulons pas, frère, que vous, ayez, vous soyez dans l'ignorance dans au sujet de ceux qui dorment afin que vous ne vous affligez pas comme les autres qui n'ont point d'espérance. Car si nous croyons que Jésus est mort et qu'il est ressuscité, croyons aussi que Dieu ramènera pas Jésus et avec lui ceux qui sont morts. For these we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, uh, for, the, for, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Voici en effet ce que nous vous déclarons d'après la, la parole du Seigneur. Nous les vivons en restés pour l'avènement du Seigneur. Nous ne débancerons pas ceux qui sont morts. Car le Seigneur lui-même a un signal donné à la voix d'un archange au son de la trompette de Dieu descendra du ciel, et les morts en Christ ressusciteront premièrement. Then we which are alive and remain shall be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Ensuite, nous les vivants qui sont restés, nous serons tous ensemble enlevés avec eux sur les nuées à la rencontre du Seigneur dans les airs, et nous serons toujours avec le Seigneur. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Consolez-vous donc les uns les autres par ces paroles. Amen.
Amen. Revelation 8. Apocalypse chapter 8. And verse 1. Verse 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. Quand il ouvrit le septième seau, il y eut dans le ciel un silence d'environ une demi-heure. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of Puisque his holy word. Puisque la bénédiction la lecture Shall de sa parole. Shall we bow our heads in a word of prayer? Our gracious heavenly Father. Notre bienveillant Père céleste. We thank you for grace to be here. Nous te remercions pour la grâce d'être ici. To be in your presence. D'être dans ta présence. To be in your house. D'être dans ta maison. Lord, thank you for the blessing from the meeting. Seigneur, merci pour la bénédiction des réunions. Thank you for the journey last night. Merci pour faire journey la nuit dernière. Thank you for the preaching of the pure word. Merci pour la prédication de la pure parole. Oh, thank you for your servant. Merci pour ton serviteur. Thank you for the understanding that he brought to us. Merci pour la compréhension qu'il nous a apporté. Straight from the pages of God's word. Depuis les pages de la parole de Dieu. Lord, we thank you for your people. Et maintenant, te remercions pour ton peuple. They've been here serving and serving out. Dans le service. And I pray this morning, Father, Je prie que ce matin, Père, that you will bless us one more time. Que tu nous une fois encore. May you open our mind, our understanding to the things we need to, que nous comprenons les choses to nous know, Lord. Et de savoir. May the Holy Spirit himself, que le Saint -Esprit lui -même, the giver of life, nous donne le donateur take the de la words vie. that will be spoken Prenne les paroles qui seront and bake them into bread et cuit au travers de cela du pain to feed the souls of your wedding children with de tes enfants. because you said yourself Parce que tu as dit toi that même man shall not live by bread alone que ne vivra pas seulement de pain, but by every word mais de toute parole that proceeds of the mind of God de la bouche de Dieu. so feed us this morning si Father nous nous ce matin, Père, feed our wedding and longing souls bless the friends and visitors in our gates this morning bless us all and bless us all together. Tous bless the reading of your word. Béni la de ta parole. And bless the preaching of the word. Et béni la bless de la the hearing of the word. Béni aussi le and we will be parole. careful, Father, et nous tous this day and all the days of our lives, et tous les jours de nos vies, to give alone all the praise, all the worship. For we ask you with thanksgiving in Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name. Dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. Be seated. God richly bless you. Que Dieu vous bénisse richement. And it's good to be here again this morning. Il est bon d'être ici à nouveau ce matin. And it's good to see you. Il est bon de vous voir. Amen. Happy and rejoicing in the Lord. Et heureux, vous réjouissant dans le Seigneur. Because the joy of the Lord. Parce que la joie du Seigneur. Is your strength. Est votre force. Because joy gives strength. La joie give la force. La no joie matter, donne no la force. No matter what happens. La force. Peu importe ce qui arrive. What comes? Peu importe ce qui va. What happens? Ce qui arrive. Ce qui se passe. Or what did not happen? Ce qui n'est pas arrivé. Find a place to find joy. Vous devez trouver. Find a place in the midst of it all. To find joy. To find some comfort. And we're trying to find some comfort. And we're trying to find some And we're trying to find some comfort. 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 Therefore, par conséquent, at the end of the day, à la fin because jours, of these things, à cause de ces choses, comfort yourselves les with les these autres, words. Par ces paroles, find some joy. Find some comfort. De la joie, Don't de let la the devil tell you. Ne pas le vous dire. Don't let him interpret to you ne le pas vous the events in your life. Les qui He se doesn't produisent have a clue. Il idée. He's only guessing at Il it. Aucun indice. Il Whatever, whatever happened, arrive, whatever has happened, qu soit arrivé, thank God and find some joy. Dieu et de la because joie. joy gives strength. Parce que la joie vous donne la force. The devil wants you weak. Le veut que vous soyez because when you are weak, Parce que vous êtes faible, you are an easy prey for him. Alors vous êtes une proie facile But when you are strong, vous when fort, you are strong in the Lord, vous êtes fort dans le Seigneur, you are more than a match alors, through vous êtes, Christ. Vous êtes plus through Christ. You are more than a match for Lucifer. So find some joy. Every time. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Is my strength. So we thank God to be here this morning. And we are comforting one another with these words. Don't tell me some mournful tales. Don't tell me some negative stories. Give me words that will give me some comfort. Wherefore, comfort one another. 
with this word. Amen. And the Holy Ghost, Amen. Brother Theo told you, I will send you another comforter. That's the way of the Spirit of God. He comforts you all the time. It doesn't get in your emotions. It doesn't take sides with you in your emotions. It doesn't side with you against that brother or against that sister against that man against that woman boy and girl he, he gives you comfort to go through whatever that brother or sister is doing to you another comforter glory so we are trying to find some comfort every single minute every single day no matter what somebody did to you comfort one another with these words you may be seated amen amen you may be seated. I got a title this morning. The call to the resurrection. L'appel à la résurrection. Amen. Amen. And I have two context scriptures here. Revelation 10, 1 to 7. Apocalypse 10, 1 to 7. And then also, St. John 11. Jean 11. Amen. Let me read St. John 11. Revelation 10, 1 to 7. We know that, right? The mighty angel coming down from heaven for with the cloud, rainbow upon his head, his face as as a song, his feet as pillars of, uh, uh, pillars of fire. You know who that is, right? You know who that angel is, right? That's none other than the only angel, the only man, the only being, rather, who can swear by heaven, and it's all right to swear by heaven. Because God said, don't you swear by heaven, for it's my throne. Don't wish me about the earth, for it's my footstool. But this, an this angel could dare to swear by heaven, and it is all right. Who could defy God's word but God himself? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know who this angel is, right? It's none other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Your Lord, your Savior, your Redeemer, your risen, resurrected Lord and Master. And this is Easter morning. It's Easter again. It's Easter again. There's a resurrection in your soul, and you are here in a call to the resurrection. Make no mistake about that. You are going in the resurrection. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Then there are no devils, not enough problems, not enough habits, not enough problems at home, at school, at work. You are predestinated to go in the resurrection there is going to be a resurrection I know in this modern age in the 21st century I know it sounds like a fairy tale I know it sounds like a fable but God's word can never fail there is going to be a resurrection and you want to fasten your eyes you want to fasten your focus that that's why you are here. You come here for this one purpose to receive this call to the resurrection. That's your purpose of coming here. If you miss that purpose, your living has been in vain. Hallelujah. There is going to be a resurrection. And Brother Conte told you last night, potentially, Malachi first said, we are in the rapture already. Is a fairy tale to some, but brother, I believe it, and I know you do too. Amen. So there is a call to the resurrection. You may be seated. Glory to God. Amen. 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 
God Dieu has always called man. It's not man searching for God. It's not man calling out for God. It's God. That's his nature. That's his being. That's the essence of his being. He's a reconciliation. Reconciliator. He goes after the other person. Hallelujah. He went after uh, uh, even even Cain. He went after Adam and Eve. He even went after Cain. That's God's spirit. Come, let us reason together. God doesn't profile. God doesn't cast anyone out. God never cast anyone out. You get cast out because you will not go God's way. And Jesus said, the son is come not to condemn anyone. He said, the son is come that through him, believing in him, the world might be saved. So I didn't come for condemnation. I come to give life. But he said, herein is the condemnation. If you are going to be condemned, here here is how the condemnation comes. He said, because light has come into the world, and men turned down light, and chose darkness instead. So they condemn themselves. But it's not God's job to condemn anybody. So God, he always calls. He's a reconciliator. His spirit reconciles. That's why it is spoken. Pleasant are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. God's spirit reconciles. God's spirit doesn't cast off. I am, I am so and so. Who are you? Get away from me. God's spirit doesn't do that. And that's why, at this end of time here, in the seventh age, out of Laodicea, we have been called out but the spirit of God in Laodicea is the spirit of brotherly kindness and that spirit is supposed to so possess us brotherly kindness you can bear with a man when, even when he's in the wrong you don't cast him out you are patient with him. Vous êtes patient you got virtue within yourself. So know that what he believes, even croit, though it be false doctrine, it's, false doctrine, it's in his heart. Mais cela est dans son and you have virtue within yourself. So let it go out with kindness. Enfin de, that's the spirit enfin of God. Part, and la and la that's why there is a call to Dieu. the resurrection. God has always called Dieu a toujours appelé. in the Garden of Eden. Dans le jardin Eden. When Adam and Eve fell, God knew what they did, they, they disobeyed his instructions, they brought all this calamity upon mankind, destroyed God's plan, destroyed God's program, yet God still went after them, he didn't go say, Adam, you an evil son, you an evil man, look at what you did, you broke God's word, no, he said, Adam, 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 where are thou? Tu? God has always gone Dieu out to call. God has always appel. called out. He's always reached out in reconciliation. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Amen. Amen. You want to be seated? Vous asseoir. Can be. Si vous le souhaitez. Anyway, so God, his nature, sa nature, his love nature to go after man, sa nature, his, his creation. creation, sa création. Amen. He calls us to repentance. Il nous appelle à la repentance. Calls us out of sin. Il nous appelle à son Calls us to enjoy the goodness of the Il Lord. Nous appelle à nous réjouir. Calls us to worship. Il Seigneur, il nous appelle Calls à us to seek the face of the Lord. Il nous appelle à voir la face du Seigneur. If he sees any nicks be in our lives, Et si il voit chose he dans reaches notre, out to us with a call. Vie, alors il se lance, il Amen. Nous, il nous to 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 uh, take inventory. Enfin de faire l'inventaire. So we can take your word is running enfin our lives. Enfin que nous puissions prendre sa parole dans nos Hallelujah. vies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the first call in the Bible. Si le premier appel. Recorded was Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. C'était 
dans le jardin de Adam, Eden. Adam, where art thou? Adam, Adam, where are you? And so has it remained Et ainsi up until this time here. Jusqu'à ce temps God is always calling. Dieu a toujours appelé. Every one of God's promises. Et toutes les promesses de Dieu. Is a call from God. Est un appel de Dieu. Is an invitation from God. C'est une invitation de Dieu. For us to enjoy. Une invitation pour que nous puissions. He calls us every promise. Nous nous réjouir. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Je suis le Seigneur qui te guérit. C'est un appel de Dieu. To come enjoy the healing power. Pour bénéficier de la puissance. And the healing virtues. De la guérison, de la puissance, of the love of God. De l'amour. Every call from God. Et tout ce qui vient de Dieu. To man. À l'homme. Is a call that we come to enjoy. L'homme est un appel. The goodness of the Lord. Bénéficier des bienfaits. So the call to the resurrection. Ainsi l'appel à la résurrection. Is a call from God. C'est un appel venant de Dieu. Amen. 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 I will be sitting in a minute. Let me read um, uh, uh, this kind of scripture here, uh, John 11. Je vais lire cette écriture dans Jean le chapitre 11. Jean le chapitre 11. This was the raising up of Lazarus from the grave. Ça, cela parle de la résurrection de Lazare d'entre les morts. All right. Uh, let's pick it up from verse 38. Le verset 38. Um. Um. Okay. Um, let, let me let me read also first before I get to verse 38. Let me read also. The early part of the uh, place there when Jesus was told about Lazarus. Je vais lire la partie où Jésus And then he invited, de he invited his disciples où il a invité ses disciples to come to a resurrection. À venir à la résurrection. To come and partake pour être participant in the resurrection of Lazarus. De la résurrection de Lazare. And we are his disciples today. Et nous sommes ses disciples being aujourd'hui. Being invited by the same Jesus Christ. Étant invité to come and partake pour être participant of the resurrection. De la résurrection. Amen. Amen. Um, all right, let me read a, a portion here. Je vais lire une portion ici. Somebody get it. I get the, uh, uh, um, uh, St. John 11. Jean 11. Verse 1. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. Il y avait un homme malade, Lazare, de Bethany, village de Marie, de Martha, sa sœur. It was that Mary which anointed uh, the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her, her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. C'était cette Marie qui oignait le parfum du Seigneur qui lui essuya les pieds avec ses cheveux, et c'était son frère Lazare qui était malade. Therefore his sister said unto him, unto Jesus, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Les sœurs envoyaient dire à Jésus, Seigneur, voici celui que tu aimes est malade. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Après avoir entendu cela, Jésus dit, Cette maladie n'est point à la mort, mais elle est pour la gloire de Dieu, enfin que le Fils de Dieu soit glorifié. You know one about Jesus? Vous savez une chose aussi de Jésus? And it was God's example, six son. Il était la semence And Brother Benham said, his life, after he was baptized, at the river Jordan by John the Baptist, his life is the example life that you and I should take for our example. He was God's example, six son. Le, le fils semence exemple and is our Dieu. example et il est notre exemple and we take examples from any other person et nous suivons l'exemple de chaque personne as long as that personne. example represents Christ aussi longtemps que cet exemple représente Christ we don't follow any man nous ne suivons pas un homme quelconque nous ne devrions follow any man nous ne devrions pas suivre un homme but we take examples mais vous vous inspirez but that example mais cet exemple must exemplify Christ doit être Christ that example is not to lift up any man any pastor any church over and above another one that example must exemplify Christ because he is God's example sits on hallelujah every example points to him amen hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Now, when Jesus heard that, verse 4, he said, quatre. This sickness is not to death. Okay, I think I read that already, verse 5. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Lord, don't. Lors donc qu'il a appris que Lazare était malade, il resta deux jours encore dans le lieu où il était. You will think Lazarus is sick. 
Et il pensait Lazare, voici Lazare qui était Jesus malade. Dying. Et il est sur le point de la mort. And Jesus was almost, he even like he did not care. Et Jésus apparaissait comme quelqu'un qui ne se souciait pas. But here's the lesson here from this example, six Mais regardez la leçon ici. Jésus, running through the Bible, Jesus Jésus lisait tout au never de panicked. Jésus n'a jamais paniqué. À aucun never moment. panicked. À aucun moment, Jésus no paniqué. matter what happened, Peu importe ce qui or arrive, what did not happen, ou ce qui he pas never arrivé, panicked. Il n'a jamais paniqué. Don't you panic? Ne paniquez pas. All things Toutes choses work together for good. Pour le bien. What we are supposed to do Ce que nous is faire. to commit our way unto the Lord and live as Seigneur. close to God as we possibly can. Aussi de Dieu comme nous and God et alors He'll Dieu, make everything work out all right. Il But pour too Dieu. many times Mais we fois, panic. Nous and when you panic, lorsque vous paniquez, you don't give God a chance to work. Alors vous ne permettez pas à Dieu de Because it's just en nature. Vous. Parce que c'est la nature. He will not come into your panic. Il ne viendra pas dans votre panique. The Bible says, la Bible dit, be still. Il dit, restez silencieux. Stand still, it told Moses. Calme, il a dit à Moïse, Moses got to re to the Red Sea. Moïse was all panicking because the people put pressure on him. They pressurized him. Look at the Red Sea ahead of us. And they were panicking. And the panic was transferred to Moses. And Moïse started complaining to God as though God had let them wrong. And God screamed back at Moses. Stand still because when you panic, you will paniquez, not give God a chance to work pas Dieu on your behalf en votre faveur. because it's his nature. Parce que sa nature do not panic sa nature de ne pas his spirit Son cannot work ne peut in the midst of panic au milieu de la panique. It's not a panic-stricken God. Ce pas un Dieu de la panique. He steals everything. Il est là et il That's when he can go chose. to work. Voilà the Bible agir. said, et la Bible be still dit, dit, Reste and calme. know that I Mais am God. Que je suis Dieu. Whatever the problems, Quoi, quel que soit le problème, whatever the challenges, que soit les be still que vous, que vous and know that I am God. Glory oh, to God, amen. Glory to God, amen. And here is Jesus here. Donc, voici Jésus ici. This is Jesus here Jésus ici. walking into a call en train de to the resurrection. À la no panic. Aucune panic. All things are under control. Toutes sont sous son control. God is in charge. Dieu est en contrôle. Then verse 7. Ainsi dans le verset 7. He said, Then after, after that said he to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. Et il dit ensuite aux disciples, Retournons en Judée. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Jésus répondit, les disciples de Rabbi, les Juifs, tout récemment cherchaient à te lapider, et tu es retourné, et tu retournes en Judée. Jésus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. Jésus répondit, N'y a-t-il pas douze heures au jour? Si quelqu'un marche pendant le jour, il ne bronche point, parce qu'il voit la lumière de ce monde. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth because there is no light in him. Mais si quelqu'un marche pendant la nuit, il plonge parce que la lumière n'est pas en lui. This thing saith he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Après ces paroles, il dit, Lazare, notre ami, dort, mais je vais le réveiller. And he's telling you and I today, et il vous dit à vous et à moi aujourd'hui, Paul sleepeth, Arena sleepeth, Martin sleepeth, Columbus sleepeth, Luther sleepeth, the Pentecostal sleepeth, and I go in you to awake them again. He is inviting you to partake in this resurrection, to bring on this resurrection, not as an onlooker. Comme but as a partaker comme to actually comme cause the resurrection to happen. De oh, glory to God. Amen. Soit à Dieu. Amen. Amen. Verse 12. Le verset 12. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. How be it Jesus spake of his death? But they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Jésus avait parlé de sa mort, mais il crut qu'il parlait de l'assouplissement du that, sommeil. That's always the problem. Et cela a toujours été le problème. When you're talking, lorsque vous parlez, and people stay in the natural realm, les gens sont dans le domaine they naturel. Weigh, they, they, they weigh everything, but every, 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 everything that 
in the Bible. Il pèse tout ce qui est dans la Bible. In the natural realm. Selon le niveau like naturel. Brother Johnny told you. Comme Frère Johnny vous a dit. Like we've been speaking about. Comme nous avons they parlé. They want everything through their emotions. Ils essayent de ramener tout, de ramener toutes choses selon leurs émotions. They have a headache. Ils ont un mal de tête. On their shore, their body is feeling bad. Ils sont sûrs que leur corps ne so se sent pas bien. Alors ils se disent, I am going to die. Je vais mourir. Because, well, what does the word of God say about it? Mais que la parole de Dieu dit à ce sujet? Somebody says something to them. Quelqu'un leur dit quelque chose. Quickly they condemn that person. Et ils cette personne. Because that person came against them. Parce que cette est venue But what does eux. the word of God say about Mais que it? Dit la parole de Dieu à ce sujet? Their son does something wrong. Quelqu'un vous fait du tort. And somebody corrects that son. Et quelqu'un Quelqu'un corrige ce fils qui They a fait du temps. angry at that person. Alors ils sont en colère contre cette personne. Because it's their son. Et parce que c'est leur fils. Another person, another child. Et une autre personne, un autre enfant. Does the same son has done. Fera la même chose que leur fils a fait. Quickly they condemn it. Et rapidement ils vont le condamner. Because it's not their son parce now. Parce que ce n'est pas maintenant leur fils. Just running their lives through their emotions. Et ils essaient de gérer leur vie au travers And des émotions. And these disciples. Et ces disciples. Instead of sitting in the spiritual realm, pas dans le they fell if he's sleeping. Et ils se sont he il does well. But Jesus, had, Jesus had to tell them. Jésus he's dire, not talking about taking a rest and sleep. Il ne pas de la du Come semaine. up either. Mais un peu plus Be spiritual. Soyez Let the word of God que la de Dieu dwell in you richly. Que la de Dieu in all wisdom. Vous, dans then no man will be able Alors, to deceive you. Ne sera même de vous Glory to God. Amen. Gloire à Dieu. Amen. Then Jesus said unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent that ye might believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Amen. Verse 38. Jesus therefore growing again himself coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jésus frémissant de nouveau en lui-même se rendit au sépulcre. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Et Jésus dit, ôtez la pierre. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh. He had been dead four days. Martha, la sœur du mort, lui dit, Seigneur, il le sent déjà, car il y a quatre jours qu'il est là. Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Jésus lui dit, n'étais-je pas dit que si tu crois, tu verras la gloire de Dieu. Then they took away the stone. From the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Et Jésus leva les yeux en haut et dit, Père, je te rends grâce de ce que tu m'as exaucé. And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Pour moi, je savais que tu m'exauces toujours, mais j'ai parlé à cause de la foule qui m'entoure. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. Et le mort sortit les pieds, les mains liés de la bande, le visage enveloppé de linge. Jésus lui dit, Déliez-le, laissez-le aller. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless the reading of his words. The call to the resurrection. You may be seated. And in the Bible, Jesus is the centerpiece of the whole Bible. His coming is the centerpiece of the whole Bible. His coming is at the beginning. His coming is at the end. And Revelation 22, Jesus gave the final promise in the Bible. He said, Behold, I come quickly. And there was a reply from a pride that's standing watching. Cry that even so come, Lord Jesus. That last promise, La promise, that last prayer, have to do with the coming of the Lord. Toi, 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 Jesus said, I come quickly. The bride says, come quickly, Lord Jesus. The coming of the Lord. That's the thirst. That's the desire. That's the control tower of every believer. Every single day. That's the focus on your mind. The coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
every single day, every single minute, you are looking out for him. You are watching out for him. Like the Bible said, do everything that you do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you go to school, you are looking out for the Lord. You will not do what the Lord will not do. You will not keep a company that the Lord will not be comfortable with. You will not hang out with friends that the Lord will not hang out with. You will not say words that the Lord will not say. You are always looking out for the Lord. Looking out for the Lord. Even so come Lord Jesus. That's not speaking about the rapture alone. That's speaking about your everyday living. Your everyday existence you are looking out for the Lord that's your end in sight you wake up every day the coming of the Lord is on your mind you are looking for the Lord every single minute you are looking to do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you want to go to will the Lord be comfortable to find you there that's how you think every day and that's how you wait for the coming of the Lord that's what the coming of the Lord is all about it's not live anyhow and then at the end of the day you are going in the rapture no, they that look for him they that look for him the Bible said it shall appear to them every day without sin unto salvation so if you are sick every day you are looking for him if your son is sick your boy is wayward you are looking for the Lord you are expecting the Lord to come you are expecting the Lord to come to deliver your son to heal your son heal your wife heal your daughter whatever needs to be done you are looking for the Lord this is the coming of the Lord and the Bible said to them that look for him shall he appear the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly shall suddenly shall suddenly appear in his temple hallelujah that's what it is to walk with the Lord that's how you wait for the coming of the Lord Amen. Amen. So the last promise in the Bible and the last prayer both centered on the coming of the Lord. The consummation of all scripture. The, the whole Bible, the book of redemption is sitting around this point here. The coming of the Lord. When Adam and Eve sinned, Genesis 3, immediately God spoke about the coming of the Lord. All down through the Bible, the coming of the Lord. That's the end in sight. Maybe see let, let me tell you a Bible principle. Maybe see that. Maybe see that. The coming of the Lord is the end in sight that's where God is going to that's his destination that's the purpose of the whole Bible God started his program with the end in sight you know what that means? That means you have a destination. You have a place you are going to. That's how you start at all. You start from the end. You start from the end and walk your way backwards. Glory. You may be seated. I want to be sure you really get this. When you go, when you left your house this morning, you were at home, but in your mind, you felt, I am going to church. 
getting to church was your end in sight. You are not in church yet. You are not in church yet. But because that's where you want to go to, you make all your plans, all your arrangements to get you to that end spot, to get you to church. You may be seated. When you're when your neighbor comes this morning to say, I've come to visit you. Oh, I've been wanting to visit you for years. Now I've come to visit you this morning. Let us talk together for about two hours because of your end in sight. It affects all your plans. You tell your neighbor, I I'm sorry. I don't have time this morning. I am going to church. You are not in church yet. But that end in sight affects all your programs, all your plans, affects the way you live, the way you view things, affects your world view because you have a destination that you are going to. That's how God lives and that's how God wants us to live. We didn't just come here. We have an end in sight. We didn't just believe we have an end in sight our end in sight is the coming of the Lord our end in sight is the call to the resurrection that's what you are here for you are not here to be a doctor that's a vehicle on your road to your end in sight. You are not here just to be a housewife. Because if you are here just to be a housewife, you'll fight your husband every time. When, when your husband is not up to it, when he disappoints you, or when you just disagree with him, you fight him every day. But because you have an end in sight, the thought comes to you. This way I am doing with my husband or with my wife. Is he going to get me to the end in sight? Hallelujah. Isn't this like my neighbor coming to distract me from my end in sight? So the coming of the Lord, that's our end in sight. When we go to school, when we go to work, at the, at the, in the home, in our relationships, the end in sight. While we chase the whatever we need to chase in the world, for school, for our jobs, for our careers, whatever you want to be, you have your end in sight. That's why a Christian believer will not get a career that will hinder him from running the race of life you can do whatever career you want you can aspire to be whatever you want to be but you will not choose a career or any aspiration that will hinder you from your end in sight That's how God lives, and that's how he wants us to live. And so does God have an end inside concerning you. Way back before the foundation of the world, he chose you and loved you before you had a chance to do right or wrong because he knew you would believe it. He didn't look at your struggles. He didn't look at your weaknesses. He looked in your heart that there is one who will believe it. So God wrote your name in blood and no man no devil, no mistake, no habit can take your name out because it's written in blood. Your name is written in red. There's no eraser. There's no bleach that can wipe off your name because where God wants to get you to, where God wants to get you to, God's end inside about you. God's end inside concerning you. It shall not fail. It will not fail. It can not fail. Hallelujah. 
God has determined that you are going to the resurrection. God has determined that you are going to cause the resurrection of the saints because they without us will not be made perfect. You will call the resurrection. You will bring on the resurrection. That's thus said the Bible. That's thus said the Lord. That's thus said Malachi 4 from the pages of the Bible. It shall not fail. Glory, glory. The end in sight. Yeah. Amen. When you become a Christian, you didn't become a Christian to see whether this is going to work or not. What's your purpose in becoming a Christian? But when you have your end in sight, that I am here to stay. I am not going back. I mean to make it all the way to the resurrection. You are ready for the journey then. When you are going on a journey, and you know you have to be on that journey, when you get to the motor park, and you find you forgot your passport, you don't say, well, that's the end of the journey. Then the journey doesn't mean anything to you. But the journey is important to you. You say, I forgot my passport. Quickly, you go get your passport so you can continue on your journey. The challenge, the hindrance of forgetting your passport doesn't make you give up on pressing on with the journey. So when you become a Christian, whatever the challenge, you have an attitude, Lord, this is the challenge we have now. Lord, how do we go around this challenge? How do we overcome this challenge? And he will help you because your end in sight is to be in that call to the resurrection. Hallelujah! Glory. Amen. Amen. Now there have been seven, seven junctions of time in man's history on the face of the earth. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Elijah, Jesus, Luther, and then the great junction, the great, the, the great junction of time in the seventh age here is First Thessalonians 4, 16. The coming of the Lord is a great junction. And at a junction, you decide which direction to go. Either to go forward, to go right ways, left ways, or go backwards. But we are pressing forward to the coming of the Lord. Ori. Now remember, the prophet William Branham taught us that in the coming of the Lord, if you read through the whole Bible, there are three comings of the Lord. When God said the, 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 the seed of the woman shall bruise thy head, happened. he was talking about his first coming, as well as the second coming, as well as his third coming. And in the Bible, you will see there are three different comings. Malachi for taught us these things. He taught us these things. First time he come, first time he come, the first coming, he come to Israel as a little baby in the manger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second time he comes, he comes in a secret rapture. And the third time he comes, he comes in the, for the millennium and the kingdom age in Revelation 19. That's the coming of the Lord in the Bible. It's not one coming, it's three comings. But you and I, our concern this morning it's with that secret second coming. First Thessalonians 4 16. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And Brother Banham, he called that the secret second coming. 
If you notice, if you study your message, if you study your message, any time Brother Branham talked about this secret second coming, he always identified it as 4,616, the coming of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. It comes. Il vient. Amen. To take his bride. Il vient pour prendre son out of here. Oh, this month. For the resurrection. And the rapture. And that's what you have been called to. You have been called. Not just to go in the resurrection. You have been called. To partake of this resurrection. To bring on this resurrection. You will cause this resurrection to happen. But it's a secret affair. Mais c'est une affaire it's not in the open. Ce n'est pas quelque chose. It's not an all commas affair. Ce n'est pas une affaire ouverte. I run, I run into some, some some message people. Et des gens du message. Who compare this with Pentecost? Qui compare ceci avec le Pentecost? It's like there is nothing. What's the difference between us and Pentecost? Oui, c'est comme si ce n'est rien qu'il n'y a aucune différence avec le Pentecost. No, there's a lot of difference. Non, il y a beaucoup de différences. Now, Maintenant, I do not subscribe moi, je pas fait to that school of thought in the message na, cette, cette who cancels out everybody else. Once they're not in your group, une fois que vous êtes, ils ne sont one, pas they, they don't see eye to eye with you, ils ne sont you pas, cancel them out. Dans le group, alors vous I les don't belong to that group. Moi, je pas ce type I don't believe that's the spirit of God. That the spirit of, spirit of God de Dieu goes out to goes after the lost. If you think the person is lost, see how you can go after them and restore them again. So I don't believe in that. I also don't believe in that group that says Pentecost has a devil. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Because William Branham never taught us that. William Branham said, those people, he said, I'm against the system of denomination. That's what I'm against. Because that system keeps those people bound. They're in a prison. They've got to take permission from their denominational heads before they can do anything. That system holds them bound. But you will never, you will never, in Pentecost, find them talking. They talk about, we're going in the rapture, we're going in the rapture. But you'll never find them teaching you how to prepare for the rapture. They talk in generalities. But they'll never teach you, tutor you, child train you on how to get your things ready so that you might be in the resurrection so it can be the rapture in the sky because they do not know but William Branham he's the only man that I know you might know somebody else he's the only man that I know who taught us and said at the end of the Pentecostal age after Pentecost is done and over at the end of the Pentecostal age we are supposed to receive we are supposed to receive another messenger, another messenger, who will, hallelujah, and this messenger is going to speak out the seven thundering voices, which is going to prepare the bride for great translation faith, the seven thunder voices is going to show her how to get out of here, run through the streets, Find me a man who spoke like that. You'll never find one. So William Branham is the only man who did not talk in generality about the rapture. He spoke in specific terms how you are going to go in that rapture. Search William Branham's message through and through. You will find out the only thing he said will prepare you to go in the rapture of the sky. The only thing that will get you ready for this call to the resurrection is a seven thunders on the back of the Bible.
Now you may not agree with me what the seven funders are. But you've got to admit that William Branham said the seven thunders is the only thing that will give you rapturing faith, that will give you translation faith, that will get you out of here to go in the rapture in the skies. That's why we are different from Pentecost. We are talking about a preparation, a preparation to go in the rapture in the skies. Even when we go to school, when we go to work, when we have our challenges, it's on our minds, our preparation to go in the rapture in the skies. By doing that, we are vindicating that prophet of Malachi for. We are vindicating his message. We are vindicating God sent a prophet to get me, to get you, to prepare a people. Because the, the, the end of time messenger, his message, his job, will be to get the bride ready to go meet the bridegroom. And that's what we are here doing. That's for the Brahms message. Not just to preach you happy, to get you prepared. There's a focus, there's a goal, there's an end in sight. The coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory. Amen. Amen. Now William Branham taught us, Amen, Amen that the seventh seal on souls in prison, page 50, he said the seventh, the seventh seal, one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh one, not all seven, but the seventh one, he said the seventh seal brought him back down to the earth. And like Brother Conde told you last night, potentially, Malachi 4 said, we have been in this second coming because the seventh seal in the book of redemption, where he says silence, brought him down to the earth. And when the seventh seal in the book of redemption was opened, down come the Lord on the earth. So you and I will recognize these things. And so we know we have been in the coming of the Lord since the seventh seal brought him down to the earth. Since Malachi for open up the seventh seal, down come the Lord on the earth. That's why you go every Every day, you know the Lord is around somewhere. He's in your house, he's on the job, he's everywhere. When the child is sick, when the husband is not well, when there's no food on the table, the Lord is around somewhere. Call him on the scene. Don't fight and force, don't panic, call Jesus on the scene because we are in the coming of the Lord. Better than Pentecostals, better than Baptists, Methodists, we recognize the Lord is among us. We recognize we are in the coming of the Lord. So we've been, we've been this coming of the Lord for some time now. Some put in some far distant future. But we see the Lord always around us. And a man that knows that the Lord is always around him. Nothing can face that man. That man is stabilized because you know the Lord is around you. It controls your behavior. It controls your thinking. It controls your words. It controls your relationships because you know the Lord is around. You know the angels of the Lord are camp around those that fear him. And you don't want to do anything or think anything or say anything the Lord will not be pleased with because we recognize the coming of the Lord is going on. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So the Lord has slipped in in secret. You may be seated. He has slipped in in secret. 
like a thief in the night. Il vient comme un voleur Under the seventh seal. Sous le septième seau. Because the seventh seal. Parce que le septième seau. Brought him down to the earth. L'a ramené sur la terre. Now time is going. Maintenant le temps est avancé. So I don't have too much time to read all this. Je n'ai pas suffisamment de temps pour lire. But what is this seventh seal? What is this vehicle that brought him down to the earth? That the rest of the world knows nothing about. That even many in the message say it's not open yet. But that's the vehicle that he hides in to sleep and come down on the earth. Oh, glory to God. Amen. 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 Oh, glory. Maybe oh, seated. Let's uh, coast a little bit here. Let me read a few quotes to you. I so didn't just quote it, but let me just read a few quotes to you. Quelques citations, je vais vous lire quelques. What is this seventh seal? Citation that brought down to the earth. Because Revelation 8, 1 says, when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence. So let's see what William Branham said about this. And he calls us, won't take this because each man knows God by himself. And God speaks to them. And nobody can tell them. Sadly, many people in the message are like that too. It is called, it is called childishness. That's why I said they are Pentecostal babies. Because they are in this age that is called the age of infinite wisdom. They know it all. They have it all figured out. God loves them. God speaks to them. So they won't take from anybody. Isn't that how children are? Oh, let, let, let me leave that alone. Glory to God, amen. So he said here, on the seal, seven, on the seventh seal, page 555, paragraph 229. Now we'll come to the eighth verse, or the first verse of the eighth chapter of Revelation. Revelation 8.1. We must remember that this seventh seal is the end of time of all things. That's right. The things written in the seventh seal book sealed up of the plan of redemption from before the foundation of the world. It every bit ends. It is the end. It is the end of the struggling world. It's the, end, it's the end of struggling nature. It's the end of everything. In there is the end of the trumpets. It's the end of the vials. It's the end of the earth. It even ends the time. Time runs out on the seventh seal. Amen. Revelation 10 chapter, the first to the seventh verse, time runs out. So it's telling you right away, Revelation 10, 1 to 7, that's the seventh seal. Right away it's telling you that. The angel said, time will be no more in the days of this great thing to happen. Everything runs out in this time at the end of this seventh seal. Now notice. The seventh seal is the end of the church age. It's the end of the seventh seal. It's the end of the trumpets. It's the end of the vials. And even ends the ushering of the millennium. That's on this seventh seal. It's just like firing a rocket into the air. And that rocket explodes here. And it goes up. Then it explodes again. It puts out five stars. One of those stars explodes and blows out five stars from it. And one of them stars explodes. It fades on out. That's what the seventh seal is. It just ends the time for the world. It ends the time for this. It ends the time for that. It ends the time for this. It ends time. Everything just ends ended up on that seventh seal. Now, how is he going to do it? That's what we don't know. We don't know how, isn't it? We don't know. 
Nous ne savons pas. It's even the time for all these things. C'est le temps même de toutes ces choses. And the ushering of the millennium. Et aussi l'introduction du millénaire. Notice. Remarquez. The breaking of this seal was so great. Remarquez le, le, l'ouverture de ce seal. The heaven was hushed by it in silence. Que le ciel même for the space of a half hour. Environ une demi heure. Now is it great? What is it? It was hushed. Heaven. There wasn't a thing moved for half an hour. On page 557, said no angels singing, no praises, no altar service, nothing. There was silence. Hushed, deadly silence in heaven for a half hour. All the, all the hosts of heaven were silent. For this half hour, when this seven seal mystery in the book of redemption was broke open, think of it. For the seven seal is broke, the lamb breaks it. You, you know what? They were awed by it, they didn't know. There it was. Now, none of us know what the seventh seal is. But I'm going to tell you my revelation of it. And now, I am not prone to be a fanatic. If I am, I'm ignorant of it. I'm not giving away to such lyrious things, imaginary things. I've said some things that I'm kind of strange to some people. But when God comes around behind, I'll vindicate it and says it's the truth then that's God's word it may seem strange that way now as sudden as I stand on this platform I have the revelation of that seventh seal revealed that seventh seal is in a threefold manner that I will speak to you by God's help of one fold of it Let's go over there first. Here's the revelation to begin with. I want to tell you what it is. One fold of it. What happens is that those seven thunders that he had thunder out and was forbidden to write. That's what the mystery is. Laying behind those seven consecutive thunders rolling out. And people say the seventh seal was not open. But here the prophet is saying the seven thunders is a secret. Behind the seventh seal, the silence there. Now why? Let's prove it. Let's prove it. Why? It is the secret that no one knows about. John was forbidden to write about it. To even write a symbol about it. This is why there was no activity in heaven. It might give away the secret. But it's so great, it must be included because it's got to happen. But when the seven thunders, now notice, when the seven angels come forth to sound their trumpets, there was one thunder. When Israel was gathered, there was a trumpet. When time shall be no more, the last trumpet, one thunder. But here is seven straight thunders right in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That perfect number, seven thunders in a row, altered, not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight. The heavens couldn't write about that. Heavens can't know about it. Nothing else. Because there's nothing to go on. It's a relaxing time. It was so great till it's kept secret from the angel. Now you know why? If Satan should get a hold of it, he might do great damage. There's one thing he don't know. He can interpret anything he wants to. And impersonate any kind of a gift he wants to. But he can't know this. It's not even written in the word. It's a total secret. The angels, everything shut up. If they make one move, it might give anything coming away. So they just shut up. Quit happening, everything stops. Seven, God's perfect number. Oh, hallelujah. Seven thunders. All that straight together like they are spelling out something. And notice at that time, John started to write. John started to write. And he said, don't write it. 
Jesus never spoke of it. John couldn't write it. Angels knew nothing about it. Oh, hallelujah. So what is this seventh seal? From this quote here and so many other places. I got to run. Brother Bram, let us know the seventh seal that brought him down to earth is the end of time seal is a time ending seal everything ends on that seventh seal hallelujah glory to God amen because the seventh seal brings Christ down to the earth so if you're preaching your church the seventh seal it will end everything it will end the foolishness it will end the devil's programs whatever it is the seventh seal is the end of time glory to God, but I gotta run. Glory is it's not the seventh seal, it's in the threefold manner. Threefold manner, and on the rapture tape 965, speaking about the seventh seal on the rapture tape 965, he let us know what this threefold manner is. The Lord Himself. Shall descend from heaven with a shout, voice of the archangel, trump of God. Hallelujah. He let us know also that Revelation 10 is underneath this seventh seal. Hallelujah. And in Revelation 10, there are two angels there. A trumpet angel and a man message angel is all connected under the seventh seal. And in Revelation 10, there's John the bride there is all connected under the seventh seal in the coming of the Lord. Are you with me? Glory to God. Amen. And he also said, the seventh seal is like an exploding rock rocket. You throw one rocket in the skies, it explodes into five. And each one of the five explodes another five. What is this? This represents firepower. This represents a promise of power built underneath the seventh seal and time Holy Ghost power. You shall receive power. Hallelujah. Like Brother Ovi spoke Friday morning, you shall receive power. A promise of power filled under the seventh seal. The sum total, the sum total of all this is that John was commissioned to write everything he saw and he wrote under the first seal second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth but when the seven happened when the seven broke he was told don't write it in other words if John wasn't told to not write it John could have written what the seventh seal was and written everything from that time up until this time here but he said don't write it John he was forbidden to write it hallelujah don't write what's already in the scriptures brother Branham said it was already in the scriptures it's a secret that's hidden in the scriptures and told John don't write it but it will be revealed in the end time when I sent to Elijah the prophet glory to God amen and Elijah will reveal the seventh seal in Revelation 10 all down through the Bible it will show you the angel amen Revelation 10 the Lord himself descending from heaven hallelujah it will show you the message angel it will show you John the bride it will show you in there the call to the resurrection oh hallelujah glory to God amen glory oh glory amen now watch Revelation 10, he said that's the seventh seal. And in Revelation 10, we see this mighty angel. Revelation 10, 1 to 6, comes down from heaven. And when he cried out, seven thunders uttered their voices. He cried out with a loud voice. And seven thunders uttered their voices. And we see Revelation 10, 7, there's another angel. The seventh angel. 
in the coming of the Lord. And then we go further down. Revelation 10 8. There's John there. Because the voice, the same voice, spoke to John. Go to the angel. Take the book. And John represents the bride. So in the seventh seal, there's the Lord Himself. There's the prophet Malachi for the seventh angel. And there's the bride. You are represented underneath the seventh seal. You are represented in the scriptures. Let me see. Glory. 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 Amen. Amen. So there are three main players in this coming. The Lord Jesus Christ himself, the mighty rainbow angel, and Malachi 4 called him the trumpet angel. And then there's the man message angel, Revelation 10, 7, who you and I know to be the prophet William Branham, the great larger prophet of Malachi 4. And then the bride, Represented by John, the by John, is also there in the seventh seal. Those are the three great players in the coming of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah! Aren't you happy? Glory to God, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Now, watch, watch what the events of Revelation 10 very closely. Because Malachi 4 said, Jesus, he does all three. Seven seals, shout, voice, drum. Seven seals, three great players there. You put them side by side. There's a connection there somewhere. Oh, glory to God, amen. And Malachi 4 said, Jesus, he does all three. Hallelujah. Now watch closely here. Because here's where you are going to really understand the call to the resurrection. Here's the secret here. Let me run here. The secret here. Revelation 10, 1 to 6 is a trumpet angel, Jesus Christ. Amen. What he does, he, he fails and hides himself because it's a secret. He doesn't want them to know. He sleeps as a thief in the night. So he comes secretly, sleeps in in secret. He hides himself in the message angel of Revelation 10, 7. And people see William Branham. William Branham was not Jesus Christ. No, but Jesus Christ was veiled in him to do his coming. It's a secret. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then, and then, and then, Jesus Christ also veils. Amen. In John. Because Malachi 4 says, He comes. This is how His coming is. First, He appears. And then he comes. He appears in the shout. And he said that appearing is a sign of his coming. How he will come. So we notice how he came in Malachi 4. So we know how he's going to come in the bride. He fills in Malachi 4. He hides in Malachi 4. So we know he's going to hide in the bride. He's appearing as a sign of his coming. How he will come. So Revelation 10:7, the trumpet angel as hidden in Malachi 4 and we know because as the sun high will come to us amen revelation 10 8 to 11 a hides in the bride in John under the seven sails and it's still a secret and people are still looking for the coming of Lord while it's going on right now oh. Now watch what he does. Amen. Amen. Oh my. Watch what he does. Here's a secret. Let me say that again. Jesus Christ, the trumpet angel. Revelation 10, 1 to 6. He verse in the message angel. Revelation 10, 7. To do the shout. The first fall of the coming. 
in the coming of the Lord, the message going forth, the seven thunders, it comes right out of the loud voice, and seven thunders out of their voices. Oh, glory to God. Amen. 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 I'm trying to run here. She said the but the bam on the rapture he said the first thing he the first thing comes when he starts descending from heaven there's a shout what is it what is the shout it's not a noise the shout when he say i'll give you a shout out there's a message containing it when you tell your friend when you tell your friend when you come to town give me a shout in other words when you come to town contact me with the message that you have come into town a shout has a content while he's ascending there's a shout glory to God it starts to send from heaven there is a shout what is the shout it's a message to gather people together a message comes forth first lamb trimming time what's the message rise up and trim your lambs say Matthew 25 what watch was that the seven the work, not the sixth, the seventh. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Rise and trim your lambs. And the deed, some of them find they didn't even have any oil in their lambs. But it's lamb trimming time. Oh, church, it's lamb trimming time. That's Malachi for time. Lamb, rise and trim your lambs. And that's what we've been trying to tell you. Rise and trim your lambs. Don't yell your lamp. Be all smoked out. So let it be smoked out by filth by the world, by the things of the world, by sex and filth, pornography, rise and trim your lamps. Glory to God, amen. Glory to God, amen. Glory. It's lamp trimming time. Watch. He said, it's Malachi for time. Malachi for time. And here's where you're going to understand. In Revelation 10, there are three calls there. A Malachi for call, a bright call, and a call to the resurrection. He tells you here, Malachi for time. That's a Malachi for call. A message going forth. Seven thunders to call out a bride. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We know these things, right? Just trying to get a message together for you. You know this because you are a seventh thunder believing people. Glory to God, amen. It's Malachi four times. Glory to God, amen. And then, after Malachi four, he veils in John the bride to do the voice of the archangel in the coming of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And that's where you have your bride called. Glory. A voice call out to you, the bride. Amen. Call out to you. Takes the message from Malachi 4 to go search out a bride. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Malachi 4's message going to search you out. Glory to God. Amen. To call out a bride. To clothe you. Like Brother Connie spoke last night with the garments of his righteousness. A message. A message. The end time message to go get. Get a bride. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Malachi for time. Bride time. Malachi for call. A bride call. Calling out a bride. You may be seated. Now, the voice of the archangel has two parts to it a revelation part. And a manifestation part. And Revelation 10, like I said, is hidden three calls. According to the inspiration from Malachi for the prophet. What are the three calls? The Malachi for call. Turned by the trumpet angel. As it fails in the prophet Malachi for. To shout out the seven thunders. Revelation 10, 1 to 6. He fails in him to shout out the thunders. That's the Malachi for call. Hallelujah. And the number two, that's a bright call. And the number three, that's the call to the resurrection. Oh, hallelujah. In Revelation 10, is hidden there. 
Amen. Amen. The bread call and the call to the resurrection are both torn, but under the voice of the archangel. One is the revelation, one is the manifestation part of it. Glory to God. Amen. The trumpet angel, Jesus, he does all three. Now the bread call is the revelation part of the force of the archangel the message going forth to call you out call you out of the mess you are in call you out of the war call you out of drugs that's the message going out of calling out time and we have been called by that prophet's message the seven thunder voices calling you out your pastor didn't call you out your father didn't call you out no man called you out the Lord God himself call you out by the thunders. He called you by the thunders. You have responded to that bright call. Oh, oh, yeah. The bright call, the revelation part of the voice of the archangel is a calling out time, calling the bride out of every denomination, calling her out of sin, calling her out of the world, and calling her into the coming of the Lord. That's what I've been telling you. You have been called into the coming of the Lord. You have not been called to come to please the pastor. You have not been called to please any man. You have been called to come into the coming of the Lord because the Lord he has need of you he wants to use you to call the resurrection the bread call a calling out time calling you into the coming of the Lord by the seven thunder shout message of the message angel of Malachi 4 and that message has gone around the world to call you and here you are today you don't been called to a church you don't been called to a group you don't been called to a denomination you have been called into the coming of the Lord Boy! And you're not here to please any man. You're not here to please no pastor, no deacon, no five-fold minister, nobody. You are not here to please some man or some man. You are here to please the Lord. You've got spiritual faith now that recognizes only the word. Any man tells you anything, you check it up with the word. You check it up with the word. I don't understand why anybody should be upset that you tell people to check it up by the word. Even Jesus said, check the scriptures. Check me out in the scriptures. Check the scriptures. They are there that testify of me. Check me up by the scriptures. If I don't know what the scripture says, don't believe me. So give every man the word test. Check it out. Glory to God, amen. Don't let no man, no minister, nobody put you under bondage. Like you don't believe the apostle. And they tell you anything. And because you want to belong, you want to be seen as not disbelieving the apostle. You believe anything is your soul at stake. Check it up with the word of God. Check it out what Malachi first said. Because you have been called to come into the coming of the Lord. Not to please any man, to please God. Because the Lord has need of you. Glory. Brad Carr. A calling out time. What is it? Called out by the seven thunders. And after called out, are we just called out? To just hang around and just be full, be in foolishness and just go around. My church is better than your church. My pastor is more spiritual than your pastor. Is that what we are called out for? Is that what it's all about? Let me hear, is that what it's all about? All this foolishness. But Malachi 4, hey man, he called us out and we took his message and called out a bride. Hallelujah. No man takes the credit for Jesus Christ. He called out the bride. Jesus. 
and he uses whomsoever he wills. But it's Jesus Christ touching out his pride. It's him doing the calling. Amen. So calling you out, he calls you out. He calls you out and sets you in different companies, different churches. And what's supposed to happen? While you are waiting for the manifestation of the voice of the archangel, he sets you in different companies, different groups, different churches to be nourished from the storehouse. That's still the calling out. Because you and I know when we come from Pentecost, from denominations, there are so many things we don't even understand. So many things hang on us. For he sits us in church under a ministry to school us to tutor us to train us to child train us hallelujah to pour them seven virtual seeds of his life into us growing up into him in all things getting away from our emotions and getting to the only acceptable motive for christian service hallelujah calling out time called out and then nourished from the storehouse called out by the seven thunders and then nourished by the seven thunders from the storehouse So the bride call is this. He calls you at first and then he nourishes you. Tutoring, child training, tail training you to grow into the stature of a perfect man. Sowing his seeds of his own life into you by the seven thunder voices. Preach a seed, preach as a revelation, a seed that will bring forth the miracle to transform you, to change you from what you was into what you ought to be, to transform you into the place to where you can receive the call to the resurrection and bring on the dead in Christ. Glory to God, amen. And that has been going on. The bright call, call out by the seven thunders, after called out, must be nourished. And then after nourish, the seven thunders has been the food to nourish us. Hallelujah. And after nourish, we must have a promise to live for. I don't want to hold you too long. Because I'm already way past my time here. But am I any man at all that has nothing to live for? He's living is useless. Living is hopeless. So calling out time. He calls us out. Nourishes us by the seventh thunders. And then gives us a promise. A promise to live for. Something to wake up tomorrow and press towards. So you will not be self-sufficient in yourself. So this calling out time is composed of called out from wherever you are in into the coming of the Lord and then nourished and then number three a promise to live for what is that promise the call to the resurrection by the voice of the archangel that's the promise to live for oh glory Oh, glory. We have a promise to live for. The call to the resurrection. Jesus told his disciples, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. Let's go wake him up. And Jesus is telling you, Malachi 4, all the way down to Paul. Arrhenius, all of them are sleeping. Let's go wake them. And the Bible tells you, They without us cannot be made perfect. Hallelujah. They did not live long enough. But here we are. And John represents that bride that will not taste of death until they see the Lord coming in his resurrection power. That's what you are here for. All underneath the seventh seal. Glory! Glory to God, amen. The call to the resurrection is the promise to live for. The call to the resurrection is the manifestation path of the voice of the archangel. It is charity. It is the voice of the archangel. It is the eighth virtue. It is heaven. The dynamics. Amen. Anointing you 
anointing the word of God into your flesh for a display amen of signs and wonders and miracles the literal life of Jesus Christ the call to the resurrection it is adoption time glory glory when Jesus he raised Lazarus from the dead he was going to raise Lazarus up by his voice he just invited those disciples to come and witness the resurrection of Lazarus but this time around he is not inviting you to witness you are not an onlooker is inviting you to bring on the resurrection. Is inviting you to be the one to call the resurrection. So the call to the resurrection is not just a message you receive, it's a manifestation. You manifest the resurrection. You bring on the resurrection. There without us cannot be made perfect. And when you are adopted and you are standing there like Jesus Christ in St. John 11, the voice of God in you, the voice of the chief angel, the archangel Jesus Christ, that voice cries out, the loud voice, seven thunder voices the thunders flashing up and down the earth and up they'll begin to come oh hallelujah that's your promise to live for when you are adopted and positionally born into the kingdom of God then you have been called then to the resurrection when you are adopted and positionally born into the kingdom of God when charity has anointed the word into your flesh and you become the word made flesh Jesus Christ fell on the inside of you then that same Jesus that raised up Lazarus from the dead is veiled on the inside of you then you have been called to the resurrection that is your call to the resurrection oh glory oh glory amen amen glory to god the call to the resurrection what is it it is adoption it is perfection when the trumpet angel jesus christ adopts you and veils himself on the inside of you to identify the force of the archangel in the coming of the Lord. He will be in you. He will speak by the voice, the voice of the chief angel. Hallelujah. The voice of authority, the voice of power. Thus saith the Lord of keep still. That is your call to the resurrection. It is adoption time. Oh, glory. Glory to God. When you are adopted, God, the trumpet angel calling you to the resurrection when you are adopted he's calling you then let us go and wake them up let us go and wake up the sleeping saints like our friend Lazarus sleeping let's go wake him up glory hallelujah oh glory to God amen 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 oh glory Praise the Lord, amen. Oh, glory. Do you, do you see your message now? Do you see the purpose why you are here? And when you are caught to the resurrection, when you are adopted, and when the last, one by one, they'll be adopted. One by one, they'll be adopted. And when the last name on the book is adopted, when the last one is adopted, the door of mercy is shut, and then we are going to bring on the resurrection. Hallelujah. The thunders will roar, and up they'll begin to come. From the graves, they'll begin to come. There will be a 30 day, 30, 40 day period on the, on the face of the earth here. We'll be in a meeting like this. We'll see Brother Panam. They'll appear here and there. You will know the resurrection is at hand. When you see the dead in Christ rise up, what will be their message? The rapture is at hand. Glory, glory. For about 30, 40 days, we'll be in eternity, going to school, 
going to work on you an eternity. And at the end of that period, there will be another call, the call to the wedding supper, where he's going to call you, the living saints, and the resurrected saints, to go into the wedding supper in the sky. Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to be there? He has called you by the thunders. Don't you want to go? Oh, God bless you. Let me just close out here. The call to the resurrection is on. God is making that final call to the resurrection. Make sure you be there. Brother Paul has called us to this call to the resurrection in this convention to remind you of the precious promises by which you shall be made partakers of his divine nature. And the Holy Spirit is here calling again. God is making the final last call to the resurrection. Oh, let's recognize it, friends. It's the king's message. For we have been called to gather together for the signing of the trumpet. For the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. For the dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain shall be cut together in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. God bless you. The call to the resurrection is on. Make sure you make that call. God bless you. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, béni soit le nom du oh, Seigneur. L'appel à la résurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, sachez que ces trois appels sont connectés au sujet de notre naissance, birth, croissance, growth, adoption. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Est-ce que vous croyez cela ce matin? Levez les mains simplement dans sa présence. Nous chantons ensemble ce chant. Just can't keep up now. Oh, come too far from where I'm started from. Nobody told me the wrong would be easy. To leave me. Oh, I can keep up now. No, no, no. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody, nobody told me the road. And I can't believe he brought me this far to leave me. No, no, no. I couldn't believe, and I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. debout dans sa présence les mains levées I'm 
not speedy. We brought me this far to leave me. The healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. Not afraid, healing red is falling now. Healing red is falling now. I'm not afraid, no, 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 no. I'm not afraid, oh, Holy Ghost is falling down. Holy Ghost is falling down. I'm not afraid, yeah. Healing rain, yeah. Healing rain is for hallelujah, 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 yeah. Healing rain, oh. No, no, no. Yeah, be called healing rain. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid. Yeah. Holy Béni soit ton nom, Seigneur, ce matin. Alléluia. Oh, quelle grâce. Quelle grâce ce matin d'avoir été choisi, prédestiné. Alléluia. Pour manifester Jésus-Christ sur la terre.
grace, God grace, oh grace, and is greater than all my sin. Nous sommes si humbles ce matin. De voir la façon dont Jésus-Christ, tu as planifié toutes choses. Pour nous. Merci de nous avoir bénis encore ce matin. Merci d'avoir, d'avoir oué ton serviteur, frère Olu pour apporter ce message dans la simplicité mais d'une façon si puissante Seigneur que nous réalisons Jésus Christ que tu as planifié toutes ces choses à cause de cette épouse que nous suivons béni soit ton serment Seigneur merci encore Seigneur Jésus Christ pour ce moment ô oh, Dieu de gloire nous voulons te bénir pour ce que tu as fait pour nous ce matin. Et nous te prions, Seigneur, de bénir Frère Olu, de bénir son ministère, son église là-bas au Nigeria. Seigneur, combien nous l'aimons, combien nous l'apprécions, Jésus-Christ. Un homme saint, un, 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 un ministre, un. Oh, merci, Jésus-Christ. Alors que le service arrive à sa fin, Jésus Christ, Jésus Christ, nous te prions d'aller avec chacun de nous partout où nous serons, Seigneur. Que ta présence soit avec nous. Oh Seigneur, et que nous continuions, Jésus Christ, que nous continuions de murmurer au sujet de ces paroles parce que nos cœurs ont été vivement touchés ce matin. Reçois la louange et la gloire. Dans le nom de Jésus Christ, nous prions. Et pour ta gloire, que le peuple de Dieu dise, que le peuple de Dieu dise, que le peuple de Dieu dise, que Dieu bénisse, que vous asseyez. Nous avons quelques annonces ici. Nous avons quelques annonces ici. Ce soir, Tonight, les portes de l'église vont s'ouvrir à 16h30. The doors shall be open at 4 :30 PM. Parce qu'il y aura la ligne de prière. Because we, we are going to have the prayer line for the evening service. Amen. Amen. Alors à partir de 16h30, so, les portes de l'église seront ouvertes. From 4:30 PM, the doors will be open. Et vous devez savoir que les CD de la convention. And you must know that the DVD set up for the convention sont en train d'être apprêtés. Cette année, notre équipe technique year, a fait un grand travail. Et les, les CD sont déjà prêts. Are, are on, Alors, tous ceux qui, qui désirent so, avoir les CD, DVDs, les, les boîtes de CD coûtent 10 000 francs. 10, Et après la réunion, vous pouvez voir mon interprète Frédéric, c'est lui qui s'en occupe. Est-ce que vous appréciez Frédéric Que Dieu vous bénisse.
aussi nous avons été bénis. So, have you, have you been blessed? Et non, nous encore sur nos pieds. Let's stand up on our feet. Nous avons un mot de prière aussi. Let's say a word of prayer to the Lord. Seigneur, merci pour ta grâce. Lord, thank you. Merci pour ces réunions. For these meetings. Père, Father, nous te prions de nous garder. We pray you. De bénir la, la nourriture que chacun va prendre. Donne-nous de force encore, Seigneur. Et ramène-nous ici ce soir. Seigneur, avec une grande expectative. Parce que nous croyons Jésus-Christ. Que tu feras de grandes choses parmi nous encore ce soir. Bénis la réunion de ce soir, Seigneur. Reçois la louange. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Les diacres, nous nous retrouvons ce soir. Anormalons. It's gonna lead me out. Had no man law. It's gonna lead me out. Oh, I'm gonna pray. It's all the best I can. Oh, I know my Lord is gonna lead me out to the pilgrim land. Oh, I know my Lord is gonna set me free. Set me free. Where I'm gonna praise, 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 and do the best I can. Where I know my Lord is gonna lead me out to the pilgrim land. Oh, the cloud of glory is moving. Oh, move with the cloud, just to move with the cloud. The cloud, the cloud. Spirit arise, let your strength be renewed. Come, let us move all together as we follow the way it leads. New life we shall receive as we move with a power. Oh, move with a power. Oh, like you with the cross above. Chaffant, ça va être moi chaffant. La nuit, la nuit de gloire avance. Oh, chaffant, ça va être moi chaffant. Ça va être quand son esprit s'élève, que ta force soit renouvelée. Et avançons tous ensemble. Ensemble. Si tu la suis toujours, tu vivras une vie d'amour. Si tu avances avec elle, moi j'avance avec elle.